My name is Steve and welcome to my shop. This video I am going to be sharing just a little production run that I'm doing in my shop. It's very simple. It's going to be a short video. As many people that are watching this are I'm sure is in many ways to go about this little production run. But the main reason for the method that I chose was because this is the raw material. It's just some PVC pipe. Nothing special. But it is just a little bit too big to fit through the spindle of my lathe. If it fit all the way through I've been able to put full length of material in there and do this completely different. But because I had to cut it up into short pieces is the way I chose to do it. When I was recording it I didn't do any narration so I may do a voiceover to explain what I'm doing. But the piece that I'm making is this little bushing here. I'll bring in a close-up of it a little bit later. And what it does it's for a model project. I belong to a model railroad club and we model Bethlehem Steel and the group that's working on the blast furnaces is putting together the piping that runs between the blast furnaces and in order to get the correct outside dimensions we had some mismatched parts and by making this bushing this fits right inside of the three-quarter inch PVC and that gives us a good adapter to run to the rest of the fittings and so on. So just a, a short little model making production run. I had to make 40 of these bushings all together. I have I think a dozen of them in the bag. I've already done at least a dozen. So there's more to do but I'll share that with you in this video. My last short bits I missed a new tool that I had gotten for the shop and so I'm going to share that with you now. I'm going to set up for it and I'll bring you right back. A friend of mine is moving to Florida and he's having to liquidate his shop. He's not going to have much room at the new place to set up a shop and he had this little three-in-one machine and asked me if I'd like it. I said absolutely. Great for model making. I have always wanted one. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller than what I would have chosen had I purchased one. Uh, the nominal size on most of them is 12 inches. This one measures between 9 and 10 inches, but for model making it'll do just fine. It's got the combination, the shear, and it's got a press brake. And it's got a set of rollers. So new addition to Shark River Machine in the model making department.
Well, I'm going to take you a little road trip. going to take a trip to the museum where my model railroad club has its home <clears throat> this is also the same museum that I volunteer at and I'm currently a trustee and I chair the marketing committee. It's only about a mile from my house, so it's very convenient. And I'm going to take you over there and show you what we're building on the layout in Bethlehem Steel. I decided I'd give you a little peek into what I was making all of those parts for and I just realized that I left them at home <laughs> so I'm going to be turning around and going back home after I get there if he still if he needs any more tonight if not I'll just take him back the next time I go Our campus is along the right hand side here. It's a former military base and we currently occupy about 34 acres of property and we have eight different nonprofits that share the space in the museum and 21 museums. So this is what I do in my spare time. This building that's coming up as we turn in here is the Marconi Hotel. And this was built to house the Marconi wire, uh, wireless operators and the scientists that were developing radio early 1900s. All of these buildings that you're seeing now are military buildings that were built to do mostly radar research before, during, and after World War II. This yellow building in front of you is the workshop that I use. It's my wood shop, and that's where I do a lot of the architectural work, uh, restoration work, and repair work, and so on. We're here. Here's our club layout under construction and we model the anthrac we model the anthracite coal lines 
from Jersey City waterfront to Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, where of course the coal is mined out there. We're crossing over and jumping across the state into eastern Pennsylvania, which is under construction. And as we come around the corner, we come up to Bethlehem Steel, which is where all the new parts are going. Here's some of the piping that we're building. Here's some more. That's under construction. This is the piece that the uh, those adapters are going in. That's pretty much all new construction there. And that's connecting those pipes together. The scenery is all scratch built pretty much by one member of our club. Don't forget if you're interested in channel stickers or additional information on my precision ground flat stones, the information is and links are in the description of this video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.